What's up guys, it's Alexander Travelbum, and today we're talking travel during the pandemic, or specifically packing during this pandemic. I'm sure there are other videos out there about this topic, but mine will probably be a little bit different. So there are the obvious things that you would want to pack for the pandemic, the hand sanitizer and things like that. But this is gonna go a little bit in a different direction. You might be looking for this video because you have to travel somewhere and you wanna know how to be safe. But this video might be a little bit more directed toward people like myself who travel a lot and have continued to travel a little bit during this time. So let's take a look down here. And let's get into my travel bag in 2021. I am what you call a constant traveler. I am mostly on the road most of the year. So I've made a couple, a decent amount of packing videos over the last few years, but this one is going to be different. So some of the things that I usually tell you guys to get, I'm gonna show you how I've changed that and I'm not gonna do that now. Okay, so number one, typically I am a backpacker. I like the ease of traveling with a backpack typically because you just have it on your back it doesn't matter what you're walking on if you're running it doesn't matter where you are if you have a backpack you can carry it you can get where you're going if you don't have a hostel or hotel to get to a backpack is a good way to go because you can walk around the city and just have your backpack whereas rolly luggage is not always the best for that but this year is different as you are well aware of so the first thing we're going to change is from backpack to rolly luggage and that is because due to the pandemic not many countries are open right now and so if you are traveling chances are you're only going to be traveling to one two maybe three places and you're going to spend more time there i think that this year is the perfect year for slow travel i'm a big fan of slow travel so you're not just going from place to place to place to place which i like doing i like seeing a lot of places but slow travel you get to really get into the culture meet the people really get to know a place feel a little bit like your home and so 2021 is a time of slow travel and so you don't need that backpack so that you can go to 20 or 30 countries in the year you only need your rolly luggage which you'll bring to the airport you'll bring straight to your hotel or your airbnb your hopefully long-term airbnb and you'll be there for a month and rolly luggage is just easy when it comes to that kind of travel so i typically travel with this this is the nomadic i love traveling with my backpacks and if you still want a backpack this isn't a big deal backpacks are great and i've made other videos with the nomadic which i've traveled with to many countries over the last couple years but we are switching that out with some cool rolly luggage so this rolly luggage is from monos that little m there that is Monos. Monos is one of the best luggage brands out there right now. As you can see, they have this cool terracotta color. I'm not a huge colors guy. The colors that I do like are the more muted, unsaturated, more earthy tones. So this is almost like an Indian clay or something. So when I saw this, I really liked it. You can see they have all these colors like these. The next thing is a cap. You don't want to forget that because if you're staying in one place for a long time, you want a buddy. We'll put her in at the end, but look how awesome this luggage is and I'm not here to tell you all about this luggage. So we're just going to pack it up as I speak, but if you want to check it out, everything I talk about today is down below. This Mono's luggage, Nomadic, and all of this cat excluded. So since you're traveling slow, you are also going to throw out the travel towel. This is something I always tell you guys to get, a travel towel because it condenses and you can bring it to hostels, hotels, everywhere around with you. It gets really small so it doesn't take up much room and it dries easily and all of that. These are great for travel. But now since you're going to travel to one country and be there for may maybe many months, you don't need this. You just Get the one at the hotel. And then this is an inflatable travel pillow, which is great, but you're only taking one flight to where you're going. So we are not gonna use this anymore. So what are we gonna use? First one is obvious, masks. I like to get some uh, masks like this. Sometimes you can get them in the country you're going to and maybe find some really cool ones, but you know, I just get like a three pack of masks because supposedly 
they get very dirty on your face and from your mouth and so you're not going to want to wear the same one constantly all the time for months. At least bring a few of them and you can wash a couple in the sink or something while you're wearing the other one. I'm not going to go over my clothing because that's just going to depend where you're going. But uh, I have some shirts in here, some pants in here, uh, a couple nicer things in here. I do recommend packing cubes, especially for, well, for rolly luggage as well as backpacks. It helps you keep everything in one spot. I would not be able to do this without these packing cubes. My clothes would be falling everywhere. So look how nicely these packing cubes go in here. If I was just putting shirts and pants and everything in here, it would go everywhere. How nicely does that fit in there? Okay, next. It is hard to keep in shape, to stay healthy while you're traveling. It's not the easiest thing, as you probably know if you're a traveler. You can't really go to the gym, or at least it's not easy to do. But now in 2021, because you're traveling slower, it'll probably be easier to do something like that. It'll be easier to stay healthy, to go on runs and that kind of thing. So you're gonna pack some exercise gear, some shorts, some really thin shorts that you can just condense and it doesn't take up room in your bag. Shoes, exercise shoes, goes along with that. So if you have the time to really look for your shoes and try a bunch on, what I look for, the main thing, you will never guess. For my second or third pair of shoes that I travel with, this is what I look for. I look for something that squishes down completely so that it doesn't take up much room in your bag. You can squish this whole thing into almost nothing. Now it's just the uh, soles of the shoe, really. The rest is just the rest is just like a material that you can squish and it doesn't take up any space. Believe it or not, that's kind of hard to find. If you go to a store and you look at exercise shoes, you'll see that this usually has a lot of support at the back, so you can't really press it down. And even this, a lot of times, has uh, support that you can't press down. So that's what I look for. Find a decent pair of running shoes that you can compress together and then find a shoe bag that you can put it in so that it keeps it like this. I don't know where my shoe bag is right now. Next thing you have here is your toiletry bag. I'm not gonna go into that. That'll depend on you. A jacket in a packing cube. Keeps it nice and tight, put that in there. This is a rain jacket. I also have a rain jacket bag that keeps this all compressed, but I don't know where that is, so. Trying to do this quick, guys. Back on the subject of being healthy and staying in shape, I just got these. So if you can't find a gym, or probably shouldn't go to a gym right now because it's probably one of the worst places during COVID, everybody touching everything all the time, you can get these uh, resistance bands. So you can see extra heavy, heavy, light. These are pretty cheap. I have some linked below, but you can just Take this and, you know, do your workouts in your hotel room, however you want to do them. You can do stuff with your legs, you know. Resistance bands, they take no space in your bag, so why not have them and stay in shape a little bit? A wallet. That's obvious, but what about what's in it? I have travel credit cards. I have an ATM card that is good for withdrawing money with no foreign transaction fees, or no ATM foreign ATM fees and then I have a credit card that I can use that charges no foreign trans transaction fees so you can use the credit card and you won't get any of those fees while you're in other countries so one is the Charles Schwab that is the debit card that I use that's awesome see if you can get that and the other is the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and that is my go-to card. It gives you travel rewards, points. When you use your points on travel, it's worth a lot more. You get airport lounge access. I swear by this card. I use it when I'm home. I use it while I travel. It's amazing. It has given me so much. Basically free flights. I'm about to go to Mexico, and that was free. <laughs> free basically using the points that I have gained just 
buying whatever I would normally buy. So that will go in my pants. Mm. If you are a fan of coffee and you have coffee every day while you're traveling, then, you know, if you're traveling slow and you're gonna just hop into an Airbnb and stay there for a few months, like in Mexico, then maybe you can just pack your favorite mug from home. I love this mug from Mexico, so I was actually gonna maybe bring this with me because I'm traveling slow, but I'm going to Mexico, so uh, I'll just get a different one while I'm there. See, I told you this list would be different than others. All right, we have a few things here to talk about. We have an eye mask and earplugs. I always travel with these no matter where I go. Who knows how loud it's gonna be where you're staying. Who knows how much light is going to come in if you're gonna have curtains or not. And you might want to sleep in, especially because you're slow traveling. And yeah, it's just good to have. And for the airplane, the one plane you're gonna take this year. The Grail water bottle. This is an essential travel tool and I highly recommend you check it out down below. This is the best water filtration bottle on the market. So I've been traveling with this for a couple of years and you can use it in the river, you can use it in the lake, you can use it with the tap water, like I'm going to Mexico. I can put the tap water in here, the tap water that usually you as a traveler and I think even the locals don't usually drink. So instead of buying a ton of plastic water bottles, wasting all that plastic, the environment, uh, and your wallet, you can just fill this up all the time and just drink out of this. Like, why not? So this will actually save you money. You might spend a little bit of money on this. It's, it's not that expensive, but it'll end up saving you money in within a month. So for sure, get this Grail water bottle, the Holy Grail of water bottles. And this one I'm going to pack in my day pack, which is another thing that you're gonna need because you're not only gonna be in your hotel, I mean, you're traveling, right? So you're gonna wanna go places. So get a cool day pack. This is the douche bag and the douche bag brand, they're doing amazing things. I really like this one. A lot of the bags, they're based on adventurers. So this is like a climbers, a climbers bag based on a design that you know like a climber would use so I like all the designs for different reasons they're like snowboarders kind of design bags but you can use them for everyday purposes they just have like a slight tinge of design going toward that specific uh, adventure activity so yeah check douchebags out for sure I really like douchebags and I will continue to wear whatever douchebag they they come out with. <laughs> okay, this is another essential. This is a power bank. You probably know about power banks, but a lot of people get the cheap power banks that you see at like a Best Buy or somewhere on the street, the ones that are $5 or $10, and they might charge your phone like one time, maybe, maybe twice, but probably not. This one is a little more expensive, but not even that expensive. Right now it's maybe $25, highly worth spending more money because this is crazy. This will charge my phone many, 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 many times. And now with my new MacBook, which is the next thing, if you have a newer version of a MacBook where it has the USB-C plug, it doesn't have USB anymore. Then you get a thing like this that has a USB. You take the USB-C, you put it into the USB or the USB-C here and you can actually charge your MacBook. You can charge it on trains, planes, buses. So this one specifically, I just found a few months ago. I was looking for something that had more power than the other ones. It's kind of hard to tell which ones are good. So I suggest just going to the links and going specifically to this one because this one is the best one that I've had by far. It's, it's very powerful. So I'm sure you guys want me to say hand sanitizer and that's all fine and great, but I don't travel with it. Nowadays, when you get on a plane, they give you hand sanitizer. So you have it on the plane, you have it for when you get off, and that's all a personal choice. My skin gets very, very dry, so I don't like to constantly put the sanitizer on my hands. But you can do that. 
Instead of that, I have a little pill bag. Yeah, I know, I'm like an old man, but I have probiotics. You're gonna wanna stay healthy while you're traveling. And especially when you're in one spot, you probably have the space and the time to, to be healthy and make sure that you do it right. So I have these, these bags where I have like B12, probiotics, collagen, <laughs> which you can look up if you don't know what each of those do. Vitamin D, so vitamin D supposedly helps against COVID or before you get it or after you get it or during it, I don't know, somebody told me that, but that's just good for you anyway. Magnesium, glutamine, and sleep aid. I don't really sleep very well, so I get like a, a melatonin kind of thing. So anyway, obviously staying healthy is important to me and it's not always easy while traveling, but now it has been made easier when you're traveling slow and you're staying in one place. Couple more things very quickly. Headphones, everybody should have headphones. Put them in your computer, watch Netflix at night, put them in your phone, watch something on the plane. I almost forgot, that reminds me. This is one of my favorite things for planes and trains and even for in the bed. If you're watching a movie on your phone, you take this little silicone kind of thing, you can Bend it up like this, put it on the back of a seat or something, put your phone on there, and there you go. You're watching. Ah. And there you go. Okay. Watching a little bit of uh, Netflix or Hulu or whatever you watch. Ah, oh, which also brings me to another one. I keep forgetting things. That brings me to not a physical, tangible item that you can touch, but one of the necessities for travel these days is a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. It's something that you can connect to that blocks hackers from hacking into your device, your phone, your computer, especially over public Wi-Fi, like at an airport and that kind of stuff. And, and at a hotel or hostel Wi-Fi where they can easily get into your information, steal your information. So you put on a VPN and you're able to look like you're somewhere else and it encrypts all your data so people can't get in. Another really good part of it is like with Netflix, if you're in a different country and you can't get the Netflix from your own country, you can put on the VPN as if you're in your own country and get the movies and shows and everything that shows up in your own country. So. That is a great reason to have it. It is actually pretty cheap and I have linked below to a VPN. Last but not least, but this won't be important to everyone, is a little camera if you want to document your travels with a little bit of video. Then I suggest the DJI Osmo Action. This is my new one, highly stabilized. It looks awesome and I am filming on the DJI Pocket which is even smaller than this. So I have really condensed all my stuff. If you travel with a camera, then you should try looking into this because these cameras have gotten very, very good these days. Until a month ago, I was traveling with a DSLR, you know, a big camera, a big camera with multiple lenses. And it's great and that's what I've done for a long time, but I'm gonna give this a try. And it just makes it a lot easier to pack and bring around with you. Okay, so that is what's in my travel bag in 2021 during the pandemic. Let me know if I forgot anything. I probably did. 